Hey Scribblers, I messed up. So I got a book box from the new book box company, Margins Box, and I filmed a complete unboxing for it. It was awesome, all except for the fact that when I reviewed it, it was completely blurry. Like, and I'm not going to put you guys through the suffering of you watching a blurry video. So since I can't fake an unboxing, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to share with you guys what was in the box. I loved this box and I'm excited to share with you guys. So a few months ago, I heard about a Kickstarter for a book subscription box. It was a box just dedicated to promoting authors that are black, indigenous, or of color. And that is something that as a black writer is very dear to my heart. So I um, promoted their Kickstarter, I donated to it, and of the donations, I got to get a special limited edition book box from them. So today I am un well, unboxing it with you. So let's get started. So first I'm going to show you the art that came in the box. This totally adorable piece of art. I love it. I can't wait to hang it up. I am not totally sure who the artist is. I wish I could give them credit, but this little piece of art is a hint at what is in the books box. So, excited. It also came with this other fan art. I'm not sure what it is fan art of. I'm terrible at this, if you guys can't tell. But the artist is Nocturne 7. You can find their art on Twitter at 7 underscore Nocturne. They're fan artists and I know I'm going to be following them after this because my look look at that art that is gorgeous. Next in the pack are these two pencils. As a writer I love pencils. I don't really use wooden pencils too much but these are super cute and it says the stars and beyond which I really like that saying. It's like reminding you to keep striving for the stars. We also got this little macaroon small box. It's super cute. Not totally sure what I will keep in it yet, but I like it. And it's in one of my favorite colors, so I super love it. Another thing that's one of my favorites, this time not a favorite color, but a favorite type of material. I am completely obsessed with the mermaid sequences. You know, the ones where like if you rub your hand on it, the sequences flip and whatever the object is turns a different color. They included, let me take it out the bag so you can get a better look. They include a mermaid sequence pencil pouch. Like, see how it changes? Oh. Something about rubbing them back and forth is so calming to me. I love these things. I can't wait to use them. I'll probably put my pencils in it. Next is a little pin. It is like three citrus fruit and it really goes with the theme of what the book is. I mean everything in this box is going towards that theme. So do you have any guesses yet what the book is? If you have guesses put them in the comments below. Let me know if you were right or wrong. I love trying to guess what's in a book box, especially based off of the clues that they give you. And you know the book is always at the bottom, so you never know. Next are these wax melts. They are orange vanilla flavor, well scent. They are orange vanilla scent and oh, smells so good. Like, I can see this being a major scent for the summer. It's so sweet and refreshing. Anyone would love to have this. 
Next in the case is this awesome tote. It has a little mascot of margins box in it. It says I read inside the margins because margin box is all about promoting books by black indigenous and people of color authors so like we are often on the margins we're marginalized so they are talking about promoting books by people in the margins you read in the margins get it okay so this box has a lot of stuff in it if you can't tell there's just a few more things next are these two stickers so one is the little mascot reading and the other sticker says margins box support squad because i was one of the original backers for the kickstarter and that's why i got this actual early box it's not their first official box yet and last but not least ta-da Right. So they send the book in this nice little tote. It has margin box and the citrus that goes with the book. And it's really sturdy material. So, any last guesses on what is the book? Let's see. Fire on High by Elizabeth Avancito. I have been looking forward to reading this book. Like, she has won awards for the Poet X and I'm actually not a big poetry fan. So I have not read the Poet X yet. Even though I hear the audiobook which she narrates is phenomenal. So it's definitely on my TBR list. But I, this is her prose novel. So I'm really looking forward to this. If you have not heard about this book, let me read you the inside flap real quick. Ever since she got pregnant freshman year, Imani Santiago's life has been about making the tough decisions, doing what has to be done for her daughter and her abuela. The one place she can let all that go is in the kitchen. There she lets her hands tell her what to cook, listening to her intuition and adding a little something magical every time during her food into turning her food into straight up goodness even though she's always dreamed of working in a kitchen after she graduates Imani knows that it's not worth her time to pursue the impossible yet despite the rules she made for her life and everyone else's rules which she refuses to play by once Imani starts cooking, her only choice is to let her talents break free. From the author of the, Na of the National Book Award winner, The Poet X, comes a dazzling story of a girl with talent, pride, and a drive to create that keeps her fire burning bright. Doesn't that sound like a good book? And like that cover, even the back of the cover is good. Now, if you enjoy that cover, you will love the actual like cardboard of the book oh, tell me that is not gorgeous like I accidentally discovered it and fell in love and the book also comes with a little um, note from Elizabeth inside dear reader yay I'm so happy you're going to read with the fire on high. Imani and her crew was such a wonderful cast of characters to write and I hope they give you all the feels. So find a place to settle in, grab a snack, and join me in North Philly. XO E Avancito. Like who would not love this mark this box? Like Martin's box is amazing. I'm not really one for subscribing to a book box service but this is one to definitely keep your eye out on so if you are interested in books by black indigenous or of color authors then I would definitely recommend checking out one of margins box boxes but that is not the only reason for this video today 
I'm actually kind of glad that the first version messed up because between the time of filming that and today, I managed to cross 100 subscribers. Yay! Thank you all to everyone who has subscribed. And as a thank you, I want to do a little giveaway. In the comments below, name a book, either upcoming or that has come out recently by an author of color that you would love to read. I will randomly pick a winner on June 14th and contact you to get that book for you. I am so excited to be able to do something like this for my subscribers. I can't thank you all enough for being with me. I know I post infrequently, but I love you all with all my heart. So until next time, Scribblers, keep writing. <laughs>